Climate change is real and it's a global challenge. One of the COP27 goals is limiting global warming below 2 degrees Celsius, working towards the 1.5 degrees Celsius target as the Paris Agreement of 2015. Experts at the Danish Meteorological Institute take us through their predictions. We now have a climate global warming uh, measurement of 1.1 degree more or less. So that is the change that has already happened. And for a long time, the discussion was, is this man-made or is this something which is just natural variations? Natural variations are always there. So one year can be hot, the next year can be less hot, and we'll always have this. We used to have two dry seasons and two wet seasons per year. Uh, may end up with only one dry season and uh, one wet season which of course uh, would be uh, a huge change in the agricultural practices. But food production and fisheries, which is uh, being challenged by uh, many different things uh, related to global warming, uh, drought being one of them, uh, warming seas have, will have impact on, on where the fish are, so it can impact the fisheries as well, and, and livestock, uh, livestock as well in, in Africa. So, and the same goes with the story with higher, higher warming, higher risk. Number two is on biodiversity and ecosystems, which are being uh, very challenged and which in Africa is more uh, pronounced in compared to other regions. Uh, biodiversity uh, loss in, in Africa. And the, the third illustrative risk here is uh, mortality uh, from heat and infectious diseases related to, to changes in heat. Yes. Around 14% of the uh, animal and plant species that we have on a global scale is at a high uh, risk of complete extinction on a global scale at a 1.5 level degree uh, warming world. So that this is these are substantial numbers. So today it happens one every 10 years in a uh, world which is 1.5 degrees warmer, they will likely occur, occur four times every 10 years. So they will be more frequent in, in the future. And at the same time, they will also, also be more hotter. We have always had extreme weather, but it's becoming more intense and more frequent. But we're not sure exactly when.